Hey there. What's going on? I have some Chavant clay heated up here. And it's Monday night. And we're going to get going making some stuff. We're going to make some characters. I've been making heads for so long doing um, the art challenge, the 100 head art challenge that I haven't actually made a full figure in a whole month, so I'm looking to get my skills back and get a little less rusty on that bicycle, a little less rusty riding that bicycle.
So I, um, I guess I should talk briefly about what I'm making here. So I'm, I'm sculpting a small, very small for sculpture figure here. It's about action figure size. It's maybe um, six, seven inches tall. And it is going to be a wizard, an evil wizard, that I'm going to pose on top of a larger monster, celebrating my hundredth um, subscriber on YouTube, which I just got earlier this week. So um, I already sculpted the monster, which I'll be showing in an upcoming video. But um, I don't know, I felt like the monster itself needed a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm going to be making sure that he has uh, that he's a friend. And the friend is going to be this evil sorcerer. And really, if we're, if we're thinking about it, you know, as far as sorcerers go, you want your sorcerer to be evil. They're the most fun kind of sorcerers. And, uh, yeah, man. I'm just quickly bulking up the anatomy on the legs. And this method that I'm, I'm kind of showcasing here is the same method that I used in my, um, Janos Art Zone Challenge video. So the um, the uh, the idea here, the basic idea is that I have no armature. I'm just kind of free sketching the anatomy in, and then I'm hoping that the clay has enough tensile strength to uh, to make this entertaining and fun, and stick together long enough so that way I can. Um, you know, go on to create a, a full, a full, uh, full character. Although the character itself is not intended to take the full attention of the piece, just intended to sort of be there and add a little flavor. So that's that's what we're doing. This is going to be maybe a forty-minute sketch. As you can see, we've already got most of the anatomy blocked in here in the legs, in the lower body. At this stage and at this scale, it, it pays to be really aggressive and also really decisive.
curious about something here. Okay. All right. So we've got our wizard going. I'm putting uh, some back muscles in here. He doesn't need to be over muscled. In fact, it's probably better if he's thin. But that being said, I'm still going to need to show the basic anatomy. I'm having some internet issues, so I'm just going to take a second to pause this so that way I can um, fix my internet. Give me one second. Okay. Now that, that should have made it a little bit better. For some reason in this room when I close my door, just streaming tends to slow down quite a bit. All right, now I'm going to make sure I give him a big enough butt. Okay, and then right there you'll see this is enough of a figure here to, to kind of tell you body language that I'm imagining. So now I'm just going to take, the clay has started to get hard on me, which is what's slowing me down. But that's okay because now we're at a part here where that's, that's okay. I'm able to tell enough of the story to keep going. So I'm going to take some extra clay and sculpt in a neck and a head. Now that, <laughs> all right, that's comically too long, but it's in the right place, and that's okay. So I'm, I'm just going to pinch that right there, and I'll take some of the extra. I'm 
to give that indicator for the um, trapezius muscle. And voila. Okay, so now we're, we really are starting to have pretty much the shape that we're going to go for. Um, this leg could be a little thicker. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to add a significant little bit more of clay right on the side here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm not adding it to the inside of the thigh because I don't want to have the, um, the opening of the hips disappear. So I'm just going to make these legs a little bit thicker. Just so they're a tad more convincing. Okay, a little bit more, actually a lot more trapezius muscle here because as this arm comes up, it should come really close to the neck. Okay. I'm going to just add a little bit more mass to the interior of the arm there. Okay. I still need some extra mass on the inside of the forearm as well. And at this stage, everything is pretty loose, pretty gestural, nothing set in stone. I know what direction I'm moving in, but that's it. Nothing else crazy. Okay, I'm just going to cut away a little bit. Just right there. I'm going to give him, fill in a little bit of his guts.
Okay. Now I'll start blocking in the head. Because we're at this part. Hmm. Because we're at this part, we could hide a wire. I think we'll do that. We're going to hide one wire. Not going to be super crazy. Now, most of the weight is most of the weight is going to be on that on this front leg. So this is where the wire is going to be hidden. I'm going to skewer this right up here, and probably to there, right up through the middle of the figure. And then I'm just going to push this in through the leg. Hey Simon, how you doing man? What's going on? I am uh, sculpting a very small scale, well for me anyway, small scale miniature wizard that's going to go on a larger monster sculpt that I already did today that I'm keeping a little bit of a secret. I deliberately sculpted the monster off stream so I could share it with you in a longer YouTube video. And I'm doing the little wizard that's going to ride it. Although I'm giving a lot of it away right now. It's almost time to sleep here. Where are you, man? I've never asked you. Where are you located? back off to add a little bit more clay to this thigh and then I'm really gonna start roughing in the head Quebec I know where Quebec is I'm in it well I think I've mentioned before but I'm in New York so it's uh it's 10 4 p.m. over here so yeah it's a little late but I figured maybe I'd get two or three hours in. I'm using a faster method to sculpt the head, which is I am just doing the rough silhouette. It's so small. I'm going to do the rough silhouette and then carve into it. Okay, so we have the same amount of, the same time, of course, yeah. 
Yeah, but I, I, I could see why this would be a little bit late for people, even even in this time zone. It's, uh, well, you know what's funny? Primetime TV, right? They consider that 9 p.m. But I feel like with YouTube, like, you're sitting at your computer, you know, with, um, sitting at your computer, you, you tend to be paying attention to it a little bit less passively than, say, television, you know? Yeah, man. But thanks for coming by. It's good to good to have some company, and it's good to uh, good to see you. I have a um, so you'd be interested to know. I I have the full um, meds hundred heads video coming out tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm super happy that it's it's finally over, and I can work on other things now. Went for a run at 9. I had some demons to shake off. Then I saw your stream. Sweet. Run some demons off and then come watch me make some demons. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm really happy to be done with that 100 heads. It's a hell of a challenge. I, I would recommend trying it for anyone. Um, but I don't think it's... I just... For a lot of people, if you're not doing art full time I don't think it's feasible to be like oh I'm going to I'm going to finish this in 10 days. That would be my one critique is I don't think for most people that's that it's a 10 day challenge. At least not for sculptors. Could you do could you draw it in 10 days? Yeah, but I I didn't in a month. Yeah. Demons are interesting, man. Now I'm going to go in there <laughs> and I'm going to sculpt out this face. So let's see, let me just mark it real quick. Um, this is going to be the middle of the head. So I'll put the eyes there. I'm just going to like Loomis method this real quick. And that's going to be my center. My nose will be there. My mouth will be there. Chin will be there. Okay. Good to go. Is it the Doom Knight? He looks pretty doomed. No, this is going to be a evil wizard who's going to be standing on top of a... He's going to be standing on with a staff on top of a uh, monster controlling it. Which is going to be really fun to uh, to make. I'm doing a just draw challenge, doing okay so far. What's a just draw challenge? Like draw every day for X amount of days? Like just to keep yourself accountable and make sure that you get the drawing time in? Yes, yes, he's looking down. He's looking down, and he's going to have like almost like a Gandalf staff. 
that he's going to be controlling the monster with. It's it's going to by the time I'm done with it, it's going to look pretty cool. And I'm doing it. I'm doing this particular monster. I'll give you a hint. I'm doing this particular monster to celebrate my hundredth sub here on YouTube. So earlier this week I hit 100 subs when uh, around the time we were streaming last week. And um, it's exciting, man. I'm really happy about just that and having the time to be on here more often and just staying busy and being able to talk with people like you. The Just Draw Challenge is that I draw when I intend to sit down and draw. Yeah, that's hard, but... I do draw every day. I draw five minutes every day, every morning, about 4 a.m. Always ends up more than five. Well, you know what, man? As long as you're, as long as you're, you're getting more out of it than than you're hoping for. Like if you're hoping for five minutes and you're getting more than that, then that's, that's it, man. That's that's the magic right there. Anytime you're you're doing just a little bit more than what you thought you could or what you made a plan for that's discipline you know all right I need little tiny bits of clay for those cheekbones for this guy like that right there this one here is too much I'm gonna cut that in half and even that might be too much let's see Okay, that works. That kind of works. All right. Now a nice nose. Okay. Now a mouth and a chin. Yeah, the trick is that I can't not five minutes. I want to play games. Okay, let's draw five minutes before. Forty-five minutes later, I'm still drawing. Sometimes that's awesome, man. That's man. That's that like that addictive quality that that drawing or making art has. It's like the best thing in the whole world. I, I live for that feeling of losing myself in art. There's usually a love your figure poses. I know he's not finished, but you got the gesture minus the staff. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. That is the thing that I've worked the hardest on over the years is nailing gesture. Because people will forgive so much of everything else you're doing if you give them a gesture they can believe in. And, and if you don't do that for them, then, you know, then, then everything else just gets a little bit harder as you try to sell the idea you're trying to give them. Like, you know, putting wizard's robes on him is going to be no problem. That's going to be five minutes of work and it'll be fun. But if it's not believable that he's in some way like driving the monster or controlling the monster or whatever, then it's just going to be... It's going to be a problem. I remember one time I was doing, um, it wasn't a commission, a family member asked me to sculpt something for them. And they wanted me to do a, uh, um, an old rock star. They wanted me to sculpt a Jim Morrison for them from the doors. 
and you know I, I was trying to and I wasn't prepared um, for it like I wasn't at that point in my skill set where I could pull it off and I was really like nervous about the gesture like getting a rock star to sing on on stage and stuff so there I was trying to make it work and what ended up happening was um, he was holding on to a microphone um, stand and the sculpture ended up looking as awkward as I felt making it and I couldn't like give the sculpture to the family member like I, I it was it was really the only time I ever couldn't complete something and I couldn't complete it because it was just it was just too um, impossible to sort of deliver it man you know just like I couldn't I couldn't get what I was trying to I couldn't illustrate not illustrate I couldn't express what I was trying to express properly because I didn't have the gesture, because I didn't believe in it, you know, and a lot of times with this process, what I love about it with, with sculpture is with drawing, you really have to, you really have to envision the pose you're trying to draw as you draw it, um, but with sculpture, you know, there's a feel, there's a literal feeling out process that's tactile, and in doing that, you know, I get to manipulate this piece as I'm still working on it, almost like bending an action figure, like playing with a toy when you're a kid. And so in being able to do that, like if something doesn't feel right to me, I can turn around and just keep, I could change something that doesn't feel right. I'm, I'm not stuck with it. Now, so far this guy looks pretty normal. In order to make him look a little bit more mad um, and crazy, I'm gonna bring that brow down Really make him look a little angry. And then bring his nose out a bit. Try to make him look a little older. And now that we have all that going on, I'm gonna make his jaw a little bigger before I had the beard and all that stuff. Okay. So let's see, how long have we been working on this guy? Okay. Um, it's It's been 45, it's been an hour. The full stream's been 48 minutes. I've probably been working on this guy close to 45 or something like that. So I'm going to wrap it up soon. Um, and by wrapping it up, I don't mean the stream, but I mean finalizing him in terms of throwing some clothes on, uh, finishing his hands, giving him feet, and then clothing. So quick, I'm going to put in two ears. Uh, pinching tool, just like Photoshop. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, year one. And I'm, I'm, one thing that was cool to learn with the uh, 100 head challenge was, um, you know, sometimes just by doing something like giving a character bigger ears than is typical on a young person, it will make them look old because your ears and your nose are two of the things that never stop growing as you age. Which is why uh, older folks tend to have larger ears. So if you want a character that um, looks a little older than you're getting, you could just make their ears a little bit bigger. I want him to look like a little bit of an aged sorcerer, you know? Okay, so I got the ears in, got the eyes, nose, mouth, all that stuff. All right, um, I'm going to wait to do the hands last once I have the staff in. But at this point, I'm going to start with some clothing. So what do I want him to be wearing? I want him to be wearing some, some dope wizard's robes. 
Um, yeah, let's let's do that this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just flat some clay out. Not even going to waste my time rolling it because this is such a small sculpture that all I'm going to need to do is get a flat piece like this and just by pinching it I've got a nice sheet here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of vertical slices that'll be good to do this with here watch this so I'm gonna come around here once I'm just going to then blend this in and I'm blending this in here at the bottom it's going to create the illusion of the beginning of some clothing and I'm not thinking like Merlin wizard or sorcerer I'm thinking more like the kind of evil wizard that's in like a Conan the Barbarian um, book or a Robert E. Howard short story you know, more swords and sandals type deal like James Earl Jones and Conan so let's see might have to even go thinner here to get this over the shoulder um, yeah, I remember learning that. Also, with 100 heads, is it easier to try all sorts of weird faces? Because you always have another one to make so you can experiment more. Yeah. So, I realized very quickly with that whole challenge, and it was really cool, but I, I realized really, really quickly that um, I, I can only imagine so many faces. So, after the first 12 or 13 heads, I was like, oh shit, I have no other ideas. I'm done. And that was really like that was intimidating to me like I was thinking to myself how am I gonna finish this this whole challenge or whatever um, and then I had been talking to Med he was in town and I met up with him and uh, he told me he was like oh you know like there's a Pinterest board for the challenge so if you if you go on his video or see mine tomorrow I linked his original Pinterest board with references and it had a bunch of different types of faces so I ended up using that um, and that ended up making things a lot easier um, to use all these different head references. So I, I would definitely, definitely recommend um, going down that route of just using, using reference that, um, just photo reference. This way you don't get bored. You can pick a face you want. Like that's why you notice I was asking all you guys like, hey, what, um, uh, what's a cool uh, what's a cool hairstyle you want me to sculpt because I was out of ideas and then I was out of ideas by the 14th or 15th head so by the time that I was streaming where you were watching and it was like head 73 you know all that kind of stuff I was like I was tapped man I was totally done um, yeah sword and sorcery kind dealing with like dark unknowable forces yeah that's what I want to do I want this guy to almost be fearful of what he's summoned and that's what I that's what I want in there so I'm gonna flatten this see all my clay went cold so I'm gonna turn on I have a toaster oven down here that's heating up clay so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna warm some more clay up because if not I'm gonna have to roll this out with a drumstick which and to not slow down I'm just gonna do it so so let's go in here, start rolling. Yeah, this clay got like stone cold on me. When the clay's really warm, I could take this and just roll it out flat just like this in my hands and it and it comes flat and just a couple of goes and the thing is you don't want to force it too hard or else the clay will start to stick to the drumstick so it's kind of like you gotta take your time with it a little bit also I have a I have a pasta 
maker thing here, like a vise that I could run it through, but I don't know what I did with the crank. And I wasn't really I wasn't really thinking I would need large sheets, but I, I should have known because I'm I'm gonna make this clothing. So anyway, we're almost there. Nearly there, nearly there. Okay. Alrighty. Now, um, let's start with one strip and go from there. This is this is okay. This kind of sort of works. Love the row be open a little bit at the bottom. This way, it could give kind of a sense of movement when I pinch it there. And then I'll just blend the top into the rest of his body. Um, when I focus on learning, I try to use references as much as I can. So I agree for the challenge. Yeah, got to fit that visual library. Yeah, for sure. Anything that you could do to continue to learn and get your, your visual library up, your visual acuity is great. Although don't you know, don't spend too much time thinking that uh, that you really need your visual library to be particularly deep, um, because there's always reference out there, uh, and you can always use it, and it's always worth using. So um, that's just that's just worth thinking about from time to time. going to put a rope around his robes here to keep them tied. Um, you know, this is the fun part. Now that I'm working on costuming here, all the hard work is done. And his feet will be no problem, and his hands will be no problem, and his, his hair and stuff, because everything else is kind of worked out, you know. So... Gonna roll this strip out very gently. Very, very gently. Alrighty. 
Man, it's really inspiring to see you do your thing. Your passion to channel, the courage to put yourself on there and build your brand up like that. It's like I'm witnessing a spark. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I, you know, it's it's uh, it's hard because st I'm starting from zero with this whole thing. So, you know, there's no guarantee of anything turning out into anything. You know what I'm saying? So, it's cool to just do my thing. I'd be doing it regardless um, just because I, I love making stuff. So... No matter what I'd be, I'd be doing this. It's just whether or not I, I can continue to have the courage to keep putting it out there. But I think that's my whole thing is having the courage to put it out there. So I appreciate you saying so, Simon. Thanks, bud. I'm going to loop tool away a little bit here because it's where the armpit should be. And I kind of built it up too much. So I'm just trying to loop tool away enough so that way, there we go, nice little armpit forms in there. And we have, we have our sleeveless sort of wizard robe. And uh, da, 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 da. Just need to give him sort of a collar. I'm going to give him a really big collar. Because he's an evil wizard. Evil wizard, big collar. Like, that's easy, right? So let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Now he looks evil. Now he looks like a sorcerer. I can also maybe um, I didn't put his lower lip in but that's good because I could kind of stick a tool in where his mouth is implicated to be where I'm implying it and I can maybe open his mouth so that way he's like yelling yeah there we go nice uh, ba, 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 ba. It fits with what you're talking in your videos too. Don't be afraid to be you and, and for people to look at you. That's beautiful. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Yeah, I opened the mouth now. Now it's now it's really taking on character and the collar is helping. The collar is helping to make it. For sure. For sure. Okay. Um, I might even keep him bald, dude. I feel like a wit, you know what? Like yeah, like a wizard in a Conan story or something like that, which is like that Frazetta, those are my main influences. I'm going to give him like I'm going to keep him bald, but I'm going to keep give him like a ponytail from the top of his head. So, something that I learned doing the 100 head challenge too, if I take a strip of clay like this and I just give it some hatch marks, it'll look like a braid. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give him one long braid but I'm gonna keep him bald otherwise and then I may give him like a goatee. Bad guys always have goatees. You ever notice that? Although when you meet someone in real life with a goatee you're never like oh he's evil. It's weird but that's life I guess. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm giving him a goatee. Okay, Let's see if I can just throw this on. Mm, that doesn't look so good. <laughs> uh, maybe a smaller one. Yeah, smaller one I think does the trick.
Yeah, I was thinking that braid would be good, but I didn't want to say anything. Dude, I'm uh, I'm I'm always happy to hear your suggestions. All right, cool. All right, we're getting there now. All right, I've got my evil collar. I've got my, my evil guy. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's throw on, ba -ba -ba. all right. Okay, um, I'm thinking now that yeah, I'm just gonna put feet on. are really just mostly going to be implied, right? Like, I think I'm not going to go crazy sort of like sculpting toes and stuff. I'm just going to imply them as to the way they should be, kind of like accurate thickness. And then that's it. Those are probably even a little bit too big. Shape's good though. Okay. Um, I'll go to sleep, unfortunately. I have to go to sleep, unfortunately. I have to wake up early because it's simply the best time for me. Yeah, man, I understand. Go get that drawing in. I was really glad to see your stream. It's a highlight of my day. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate hearing that, and it's it's always good to see you. But we'll, we'll be in touch this week. I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're leaving so you can wake up early so you'll, you'll have your time to do your own work. Besides, so stream will be here tomorrow. I'll still be here tomorrow. You'll be here tomorrow. Thanks for keeping me company. Really glad to see you stream, man. Ba, ba, ba.
Okay, let's chop a little bit off here. Keep it moving. So let's talk again this week. Maybe someday, not too far in the future, you'll actually see me. I want to be streaming, actually working on that. Have a good night, bud. You too, man. Be well. What are we going to do next? We are going to Pretty darn cool. All right. Very cool, very, very cool. He is finished. Dunzo. Now, I have some more clay that's heated up, and it's so hot that it's going to burn me. But what we're going to have to do. That is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to use a wood spatula to pick it up because it's so soft. Alright, time to stop being a wuss. It's not that hot. So this is what I'm, I've been talking about on stream. When Shabbat is really, really warm, it's like this. It's tacky. Um, it sticks to your fingers. It sticks to itself really well. And like, I'm using no strength to do this look flat. <laughs> like, totally, totally flat there. So, uh, very, very, very worth it. Very, very worth it to, to use this. And um, let's let's see what we can let's see what we can do here. By way of uh, first of all, let me plug my laptop in. Okay, so. Same thing as earlier. Start out with a rib cage. And then 
there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to do a very simple shape for the pelvis, which is going to be a box. And there's the box. Okay, so right there I have my pelvis and I have my rib cage. And that's what I've got there. So now I'll just build the rib cage up a little bit with a little bit of a U shape of clay. And there you go. There it is. Okay. Now, the next thing is going to be, I didn't explain this when I did the little wizard guy up there, but um, what's going to end up happening now is uh, going to need to throw in just legs and arms. Super simple. While this is still warm, I'm going to take quite a bit of it and I'll roll it. Okay, good. So, this is going to be one arm. I'm just going to join it right there and probably pinch right there. Good. Now we're going to do another arm. Join it there up top and then pinch it right there. Okay. So with this, with this whole way of doing this, I have no internal armature system, which saves time, right? Um, and then in addition to having no internal armature system, that allows me to have the flexibility to move fast and to just think about everything in terms of just moving fast. You know, nothing here is, is slowing me down. The only thing I, I am slowing myself down purposely with is I'm, I'm trying to put equal pieces of clay on for each arm and stuff, but that's that's really something that I, I could sort of fix after the fact and things like that. So really not such a big deal. I'm just being a little bit anal here. Okay. All right, so we have a lot of a lot of shapes there that are pretty good. And they're they're getting they're getting a little bit better. But could 
could make this just a little bit more solid would be um, lengthening the hips by thinning them out. Okay, and that helps, that right there helps matters a great deal. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, so. Get some nice thick thighs in there. Now at this point I'm, I'm moving fast and I'm moving fast for a very particular reason. The particular reason is my clay is going to cool down. And once my clay cools then I'm going to be slightly out of options um, for what I can do to continue to move fast. So um, So let's see, okay, this night I'm going to want jumping out of the way, so I'm going to have one arm raised with his shield. Okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to have him twisted. So he can protect himself with his shield. Um, and I'm going to have him sort of hightailing it <laughs> the other way. That's what I'm imagining there. Something like that. Even with all that, um, I am going to need a little bit of a wire here to secure the, the rib cage into the pelvis. So I can see already they, they want to come apart. So I'm just going to stick this in there. And curve it up. In I'm right there. That'll keep those both of those together.
for this particular character in this particular position, it makes sense for me to put his butt in as early as possible so I don't kind of lose the uh, lose the figure. Cool, cool. Let's um, yeah, cut away a little here from this part of the back. That's straight up in the middle. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's get some lat muscles worked up in there. OK. 
Okay. Some chest muscles on the front. of my shoulder muscles right there. Hold on one second. Okay. So, All right. Okay.
All right, cool, cool.
All right, let's take two seconds to update the thumbnail for this stream. Okay. Alrighty. So back to it. Um, Doing a little surgery on this guy just to lengthen his spine a little.
right, so just adding a little bit more clay on the side of the leg here. And I, I've been noodling with him for quite a while, so it's it's time to start really like getting in here and rendering. So let's uh, let's let's get a face in quick. Alrighty.
Hey Dolly, how you doing? Yes, I did finish the heads, and I have a uh, I have a full YouTube video coming out tomorrow morning talking about the whole hundred head challenge, everything to do with it, and um, the streams w that we did, and all that stuff. So it's all done, and um, I'm actually working on something really cool where uh, I'm I'm working on a few characters for a piece to celebrate my hundredth sub on the channel. So I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, man, we finish projects here. Here, if object, I finish the project. Oh yeah, man. I think the last time I streamed, I was at like, uh, um, what was I at, 83? The last time I streamed, I finished the stream and I still had 83 left. So I'd finished the last 17. Hey man, you can always be active anytime you want to uh, start working again. Start drawing, sculpting, whatever it is that you end up doing, painting. All it takes is for you to pick up the, uh, the paintbrush or the clay. We'll be back at it again. This is going to be a night. And he's way too thin. <laughs> I need him way more muscular. He's like a mini. I'm going to have him uh, jumping out of the way of a big monster. So he's like really small. There's no, uh, well, there's one piece of wire in here, but there's no wire armature. Yeah, I'm trying a little. I got commissions in the way right now. Once I get this all over with, I'm going to make more videos. I can't wait to see them. I hope so. Let me put some eyeballs in this dude's eyes. This dude's going to have a rough day. He's going to be diving out of the way of a big, big, huge monster. It's great that you have commissions to go work on, you know. It's exciting. Okay, um, what do I want to do next? Uh...
What are you making? Okay, so what I'm working on is I'm making a knight that is going to be jumping out of the way of a large monster. Um, and I sculpted the monster, but I'm not going to show it because the monster is going to go into a YouTube video probably that's going to come out next week. But I'm sculpting little characters that are going to go around the monster on stream. So in a minute, I'm going to decide that I've had enough with this dude's anatomy. For whatever reason, it's, it's giving me a little bit of trouble. And then once I'm done, I'm going to put some armor on him. And, uh, and then he'll be jumping out of the way with, a, with like a sword and a shield and stuff. But I just, I don't know about the, uh, the pose, man. I'm just having a little bit of difficulty here. Well, let me start putting armor on him and see how I like it. I could always scrap it and try it again. All right, let's see. Begin the helmet here. Well, for this anatomy, I'm just winging it. In a lot of situations, I would have reference, but for this one, I'm just kind of going from imagination. Um, earlier in the stream, that worked out great with a little wizard character I did, but right now, proving to be a little bit more difficult. But that's okay. It's not always it's not always going to be easy. There's the helmet. I'm actually going to do a little like mask. Yeah, for, for this guy I'm not really looking at any reference, but reference would certainly help because he's looking a little wonky. I'm hoping the armor will kind of cover it up, but it probably won't. little chin strap under his helmet. I think that's kind of cool. Okay. All right, now what else did I want to do? Um, 
You know what it is? His, his sh this shoulder's too thick. So I'm going to cut the whole shoulder off for a second. I'm going to remove some of the clay here on the inside. And I'm going to put the clay back. And now he looks a little bit more correct. Um, even if I have to rebuild up that deltoid, I will. But I don't need to rebuild it by much. It just needs a little bit of rear deltoid in the back. There we go. That's, I think, what was jamming me up. A little bit in here. Okay. All right, next thing I want is... I want to do, like, Greek armor. Let's do that. I know what that looks like. So I'm going to thin out some clay. Gonna thin some clay out here. I'm gonna cut myself some strips. And the first strip is gonna be just a shoulder strap. And I'll do that here too. Shoulder strap on this side. In the inside part, I'm going to blend in. So it shows you where the shoulder ends. It also makes you think that it, it continues to go inside to more of a garment or whatever. All right, now we're cooking. We got some Greek armor coming in. <clears throat> All right, I need another strip. And that's going to be where the collar is on the front. Now I just blend down. I do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to double that up. That's not thick enough. Okay, good. All right, next thing is um, collar on the back, which can be thinner because you, uh, it can be thinner. Not by much, but it could be a little thinner. blend that in as well okay so now the next thing is going to be take another strip and I'm going to do shoulder feathers so just gonna take a bunch of cuts there Watch how easy this is. It's like, okay, shoulder feather, shoulder feather. Doing two layers will give me the best sort of a result.
clay refusing to unstick just stressed me out. I know, man. It's that is always a challenge. Okay. So now I have my indicators for my my little feathers there on that side. Um, on this side, let's do something else. Um, Well, first, let's let's uh, give this a little texture in here. All right, cool. Um, okay, on the outside arm, because this is the shield arm. Now, this wouldn't. This is not how this worked in real life. But I'm gonna give like a thick shoulder pauldron on this side. Just cause it's fun. Just cause it's fun. Now with that nice and smooth, now I really wanna make sure that I, I sculpt something really fun for the front of the armor. Um, what do I wanna do here? Oh, you would have the peck there, and there, and there, and I want this to be fun. So, what can I do? I could do a cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build up the pecks. I'm gonna put a sculpture of a sun on the front. I think that that'll be fun. So, all right, pick one. We'll go right there, and then I'm just going to stretch it. Then the other peck on the other side. Okay, I'll be here. If I don't come back, I forgot to come back. <laughs> no worries. Do what you got to do. That's really funny. I'm putting a circle there. Now I'm going to put a circle in the circle. an indentation around the circle. All right, now the last thing I want to do for the top part of the armor is just stretch it out a bit.
Okay, and now that I have this like upper belt area, I'm going to blend it in up into the rest of the chest armor here. And I'm just blending the whole thing for now. Now that I have that in there as one piece, um, I'm going to do some feathering. All right. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting someplace. Um, now put some forearm armor. On the right arm. Now, how am I going to keep that distinguished from just like arm? I'm going to give like this cool little divot here.
and drag that all the way around. That's in there. Um, you want to smooth some of this skin out a little bit. Easiest way is just to sort of use your thumbs and your fingers and just drag it. Just drag it. All right. Um, what else? Calf muscle. Okay, uh, just a couple of other things, man. I need, um, well, got to give this guy a cape. No two ways about it. Cape's coming. Hey, Dolly. Okay. do the cape real quick real real quick and that's going to be a short cape because I don't want to ruin the uh, I have a nice um, gesture so I don't want to ruin that so I'm just going to use like this much as a cape I'm going to like fold it and crease it A mini cloak. Okay, I can live with that. All right, now there's still just a couple of things to do here. Um, one 
is going to be a little shield. So I'm actually going to cut that out here. Okay. And um I guess he needs a sword, no? The sword we're going to cheat. I'm going to take a coffee stirrer and I'm going to split it in half. Oh man, I'm sorry. Still too long, isn't it? All right, that'll be good. Do you have an art account? What do you mean by that, an art account? What's uh, an art account in what sense? I don't know uh, what kind of art account you mean, like a like a YouTube art account. I think this is a this is an art account. Oh, 
Oh, you make a social media account just for your art? Yes. Um, yeah, I have an Instagram. It's uh, my last name, Marziliano Sculpts at Instagram. So it's at Marziliano underscore Sculpts on uh, Instagram. If not, because you're asking me what it is. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, I, I have uh, I have social media just for my art stuff. So a little problem that I, I definitely uh, ran into just now doing this is that I've, I've been smushing some of the details as I've been working. So I, this isn't, it certainly is not my best work, but it's not, uh, it's not terrible either. It's looking good fast, yeah, it's it's really a sketch, you know, like to do this is just testing out ideas. It's not meant to be something that's finished. Let me just stick a wire in this, and I think I could probably call this done for today. You're gonna 3D print it. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm working on this just as a little concept piece to be able to uh, do like a little thank you for the hundredth sub on this channel. Um, whether or not it ends up being like a um, 3D printed piece or not, I don't I don't think I really intend for it to be. It's just sort of like a fun sketch. But I'm going to have him fighting a monster. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. Um, let me see if I can just sort of... kind of makes sense what I want to do there. I'm uh, inserting it into a into a uh, piece over here. And if it goes well, okay, cool. All right, sweet. I think he's done as a sketch, and um, I also did a little wizard tonight, so if you get a chance to go back later and check it out, 
it's uh, it's worth just seeing I, how I whipped it together in about 45 minutes. Um, I don't know how the 3D print works. I don't know if you can only do that digitally. No, I can actually, I have the capability to sculpt something physically and then 3D scan it and then 3D print it. Um, in fact, I'm going to, probably the next time I stream, I'm going to 3D scan a bunch of physical sculptures and uh, I think that'll be really fun to share the process of it. Just, I don't know if I could do that at the same time while I'm uh, at the same time while I'm uh, doing um, I don't know if I'll be able to make that work at the same time while I'm uh, streaming but if I can I'd, I'd love to it'd be it probably it would probably be really fun so I'll try it and uh, if it works out that's great you know I think that could be really cool and I'm going to actually put two supports. I'm going to put two supports, um, one in each leg, just so that way um, I can stick this into a base of another sculpture. Just because I'm trying to tell a little story with it. I think I'm probably going to wrap this up for the night in about a minute, but um, I should be on again uh, sometime this week. And um, I'll do some, I'll do some 3D uh, scanning. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do some 3D scanning the next time I'm on, and that'll be really fun. We'll, uh, I'll demo how that stuff works, um, and it'll allow me to get some stuff off my desk, you know. So, anyway, thank you. Uh, oh, congratulations on 100. Yeah, man. I, uh, it, was, it was great to get it done, and uh, I'm not going to be a stranger. I'll be... I'll be coming around a couple of times a week to stream and, and still getting videos out and stuff like that. So it's going to be really fun. Thank you for coming by last week on the stream and thank you again tonight. Um, and thanks again uh, to Simon for coming by. It was a, it was a good night. So we'll, we'll do it again another night. I think these evenings are probably better than the early morning. I don't think anyone saw the early morning one. I think I had uh, one or two people come in. But generally, it seems like the evenings are better for people. So um, another evening uh, later on this week. So thanks for coming by, and uh, I'll talk to you later on.